Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I think this is the video that everybody's been waiting for and it is how did I increase my credit score from 540 to 669 in nine months. Um, it wasn't difficult, I don't think. Like I definitely did a lot of YouTube research, um, but I don't think it was difficult at all. I started going to a financial counselor in the beginning of 2017. Um, we looked at all the things on my credit report. We looked at all the things that I had money to pay off that I didn't have money to pay off. So what I did was I started with medical bills. I paid off my medical bills, and it wasn't really a lot, um, but probably like $1,000 worth of medical bills. So I paid off those things. And then the next things that I started focusing on were like the little miscellaneous, like dumb things. Like um, I had one really, really, really small student loan, so I paid that off. And then my car broke and I needed a new car. So I bought a new car. Um, I know in the Dave Ramsey plan, which I try to follow, I like halfway follow Dave Ramsey, um, but I like his, his way of thinking. He has a lot of good information. Um, so what I did was I bought a car. Buying a car is really not the best thing for your credit at first because they do a hard pull, which does damage your credit. But in the long run, it became the best thing for my credit score because I made payments on a regular basis. So I made payments on a regular basis. My car payment is $246 a month. I made that payment every month on time and my credit score start, started slowly started to increase. Then I got all of my student loans on income-based repayment. So they were all current. They were all on income-based repayment. And that started to increase my credit score slowly but surely. I used Credit Karma so I could see everything, um, every payment that I made, and I could see what was still due, what was overdue, what wasn't um, in good standing. So Credit Karma helped out a lot because it's free and it does show you as much as it can. It doesn't show you everything, but it shows you the majority of things on your credit report. And they give you updates. So they tell you when your credit score has increased. They tell you, um, for me, it was how many payments I made on time since last year. So every month or so, I get an email that says, hey, you've made 40 more payments on time than you, than you did last year. And that's because of my student loans. That's because of my car payment. My student loans were in default, so they just kept going on. They were for, in forbearance in that four period. They were in default. So they kept going and going and going, and these are unpaid things, and these are things that are in collections, and these are things that are not being paid. So they're making your credit worse and worse and worse over time. Paying those things on time dramatically increased my credit score. So nine months after purchasing a car and getting my student loans on income-based repayment, my credit score went from 540 to 669 in nine months. I was so, so happy, and I was able to buy a home. We closed on Wednesday. I was able to buy a home just by making payments on time. So if you at all have credit issue, the first thing you need to do is start making payments on time, even if those payments are $10 a month. My one Navient student loan is $16 a month, and it's a $5,000 loan at this point, and I plan on doing a debt snowball after October to get rid of that loan. Um, but I pay $16 a month using income-based repayment. My other student loan is like, it's over $100,000. I pay $365, $365 a month um, for that student loan. My car payment, like I said, is $246 a month. I pay all of those on time. I don't do direct debit for anything other than the car payment and the Navient loan because it's so small. But the um, AES loan, I'm not doing direct debit for that. So I pay every month. I set an alarm on my Google Calendar. I pay it every single month on time. The best advice I can give you for increasing your credit score is to get on automatic payments and pay on time. If you pay on time, it doesn't matter how long that account has been there. You start paying it on time and they'll see the next year or the next three months or the next six months that they've paid 12 payments on time and it'll increase your credit score. I went up 129 points in nine months and I was able to purchase a home and you can do it too. 
If you have any other questions, any other advice I can give you, one other piece of advice is go to a financial counselor. Here in Philadelphia, we have a program through the city called Clarify. Clarify is free. They're all over the city. They're even some outside of the city. Look up clarify.org. It's C-L-A-R-I-C-L-A-R-I-F-I.org. Clarify.org. They have um, financial counselors. They put on retreats. They put on different seminars, and they will teach you how to buy a home. They will go. You can go to a kind financial counselor every single month. Bring your pay stubs. Bring all the bills that are due, and they will help you go step by step by step. They teach you about credit. They teach you about buying a home. They teach you about saving. They teach you how to save, and just take it one step at a time. If you need that help, find a free program in your city and go get that help. Because I needed that help at first. I really did. And I had a great counselor. Her name was Kiala, I think. And she was just amazing. And I went to her for about six months. And then I finally got it in my mind. Okay, I know all of this information. Now let me start getting all of this together. Because at first I was going into her office crying because they were talking about taking $1,100 a month for an AES student loan. And I just couldn't afford it. I have, a, you know, at that time I had one child, but I just couldn't afford it. So I went to her and she told me exactly what to do and broke it down for me in a way that I can understand. And it took me six months to get on board. It took me six months to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I finally got it done. And it was easy. And now I have two student loans and a car payment to take care of. And I'm buying a home. I'm not feeling like I'm bogged down in debt because I know how to handle it now. And sometimes you just need the information. You need somebody to say, Listen, it's not that big a deal, but if you wait another six months, it's going to be a big deal. So just sit down and let's focus and let's do this. And sometimes that's exactly what you need. And I think that's what I needed because I went to her for six months and didn't make a move. And then finally, I was just like, what the hell am I doing? She's giving me all this information. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. So that's what I did. And I feel great. And I'm happy. And I'm getting back to my debt snowball, and I'm going to pay off this car, I'm going to pay off these student loans, I'm going to pay off this house, and life is going to be great, okay? Because my kids will have a college fund, because I'll be living somewhere even better, <laughs> okay? Believe it, and you can make it happen. Believe it, and you can make it happen. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more vlog type, you know... Daily, I don't really do daily vlogs, but sometimes I vlog, sometimes I do um, mukbangs every once in a while. I do grocery hauls and product reviews over on my first channel, which is The Shrinking Beauty. It's always linked in the description box below. Please check it out if you're interested. I am The Shrinking Beauty on Instagram and College Class 101 on Twitter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more financial information, um, for my financial experience, because I'm not an update, but I can tell you exactly what I did, um, please come back to this channel, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell notification if you would like more content. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!